Okay, um, I did the first start. Again, I will keep the front for the last part. And we go to the inside. And again, I like to make a little photo collage. And so that's really easy. I'm going to do that in a minute together. And then on the inside, I do not make two pockets, but three pockets, making nice pockets and more nice decoration. And um, for the last piece, the last pocket, of course, a tag is too short, but I thought, well, we can do something in that. And I just made a little envelope, but it isn't an envelope. No, it isn't. It's a little booklet. And when you open it up, you can um, have one page, two page, but on the other side, we have also a page. But if you open it up, you have a little um, yeah, booklet, accordion style, with lots of place for nice little photos. Or, of course, you can write something in first month, second month, whatever you're going to like to do with it. But I thought it would be nice. Nice to make a little booklet that fits on top of this. Okay, so that is what we're going to do first. All right, so who is joining me? I am excited. Let's go to the blue one. Okay, I have these uh, three uh, pages sheets left. So I'm going to start first with the, um, the photo collage. Well, it's really easy, of course. We did that earlier. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to cut a few strips and then I'm first gluing that down all the way around, just making a small, um, a small strip so we have more space for a photo mat. Alright, so yeah, really easy, I'm just, do you want to see me doing this? Well. Yes, you do. And if you don't, you can skip it. Skip. You can. Okay, so um, why am I doing this all the time? Well, it saves so much paper, of course. That's in the first place. And um, yeah, sometimes an album is be made for uh, put pictures in especially on wedding albums and um, baby albums and yeah some people just make these albums for putting some um, for uh, photos and I have to confess really in the beginning when I made these albums it for me it was just the, the flippable pages and um, to see the paper, how they uh, collage, um, how they match with each other. And I really have to confess that I never, oh, that is not true, I did that once, once, once in a lifetime. <laughs> I made an album where I put photos in. And um, I think I'm going to show you. No, I don't know. Can I show you that? I will see if I can show you that because it was uh, for my husband uh, he created a uh, bus from scrap to nice <laughs> and um, yeah he made a lot of pictures of that from beginning to start and i collected these photos and made that in an album for him and that album traveled with him for a very long time so that album is not nice anymore and I promised actually that I will fix it but well I don't have the time for it <laughs> I have to confess that and I must say he did not ask for it anymore <laughs> oh my but I still have it and it's not that bad I will show you um, Shall I show you? Yeah, I'm going to show you. But I first have to see where it is. Okay, so the first thing I cut. This one can be just a little more. Um, so yeah, you just need to cut uh, your white. Look 
how this cuts, this nice little piece. Love my Fiskars. My Fiskars precision, I really love that. Um, okay, so now what we are going to do, well, you can add this just as you like it but I don't like it I want to split I want to split these so what I'm going to do is just going to split this in three parts so I'm terrible in uh, measuring well seven and seven and seven is 21 so let me cut this at seven point two that I believe I have no wait just a second before I cut all this paper I'm terrible in measuring really three by seven is twenty one but we want to have a gap in between oh yeah seven point two three it should be. Let's see. Let's cut first 7.3 and see how that goes. 7.3 and of course this is a centimeter. So if you have inches you can measure a bit for yourself. I hope. Okay. Let's see how that goes. So we have the top. We have the bottom. And then we have the middle. You see, that went perfect. Okay, so glue it down, and then this page is done. But at the end, we will see if we put some extra decoration on because I have something else in mind. So we have to keep that till the end so I promise you we go make nice things so these I will glue right there and then I glue the middle the middle part in it here we go okay so that was really easy wasn't it it was. It's easy, but still, I like it. Pure and simple. Just how a baby is. <laughs> so let's turn this on this side. And let's make three pockets. So let's grab our leftovers and see what we got. So it's no need to have exactly the same uh, measurements. I'm just going to see which one I have three times and I know you all have exactly the same well I think you have um, the same strips you always have some strips left so you can use them now for those who want to use exactly the same as mine then mine is 5.8 centimeters and an inch is that is two one fourth if you like to use exactly the same measurements as I do okay let's make three pockets how easy is that as making first a half inch score line on one side and then fold it over Take your pencil mark and make a nice mark and stay away from that fold line. Let's see if we can measure this. Um, well we can, let's say I have mine at 218. So I can make all three the same score line. Four and eight. But please measure yours. I don't know if that is exactly the same. I think it is, but just measure. Okay. 
Now don't throw these strips away because you still can use them for your uh, tags. Okay, um, let's keep it right here. Okay, let's fold this over. See how easy that is to make a pocket. It's that simple. Okay, so now let's give this fold line a bit more nice stability. Okay, now the first one I'm going to glue on. Don't forget the bottom. Here we go. Nice on the edge, all below. Yep, here it is. Okay, make sure your glue is nice attaching to that other paper. Now, I like the eyeball, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this. And I'm just going to eyeball. It doesn't have to need perfect. I'm just going to eyeball that these three openings are quite the same size and it does not need to be that perfect you can measure that if you like if you don't um, if you can't eyeball that but like I said it's no need to do it you just you can eyeball it a bit Alright, and now the last one. That should be easy. Here we go. That's it. We have created three little pockets. That's that, and now we can decorate! Yay! Alright, so let's see um, what did I use for the back. Um, this paper, I believe, is a nice one because it's already the nice size. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure and I can go right away to the next one and to the next one. How easy is that? That is easy peasy. Okay, one, two, three. Let's do a little decoration and you only have to um, score once, uh, three, sides, three sides, you don't have to do all three. And now you just apply this on the back. Okay, number one. Slide this in all to the top. That's one. Grab the next one. All to the top. And the last one. Here we are. Okay. Slide it in and move to the top. It's that simple. Okay, so let's move on to the front. And I believe I used this one, same as, um, as the one with the pink. That's this piece. And um, yeah, you can use the front or the back, but I want to keep it a little quiet. So what I'm going to do is exactly the same thing as I did earlier. I can measure these 
by the way, and they have exactly the same sizes, but measuring is not my style, so I like to cut with a mark. Here we go, and then we can cut these. Where's my mark? Oh, here it is. Tuck it all under. That's not necessary. You can keep these, of course. Perhaps we are going to use that later. Okay, let's do some distress ink all the way around. And then what I like is put some ribbon to give that just an extra touch to this pocket. Okay, move just a little, move away, dear. Go, go, go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is grab some tape. And for this, um, yeah, this one is smaller. Okay, so just this is really easy, easy going. When you put this on your cutting plate, if you're using a cutting plate, cutting plate, a cut, a cutting mat, I think it's a cutting mat. Who cares how it's called? <laughs> ah, okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Peeled off, and I gotta tell you, Monday is here is Sunday, and I had no idea. Well, actually, I totally forgot that because I have a bit of a deadline with this album. But you know me, I can't craft quick. No, I can't, especially when we are making two albums. Well, not we, I. <laughs> but my girl told me yesterday, Monday I'm free. I told her, why you are free again? I told her, no, she said, we all are free Monday. I said, why? Well, it's, yeah, here in Holland, they call it Pinksteren. Um, I don't know the English word for it. But anyway, so we have all a day off. And I thought, oh no, that's a day less crafting <laughs> and I have a deadline to catch <laughs> I never have a deadline I don't but I really want this to be finished after my wedding album um, just because I yeah then because I have one project left uh, that I made long not a long time ago but a while ago just for yeah to work in forward um, but that's also a very long tutorial so mm, and then we are still getting closer to the holiday time so I thought mm, I want to done this I want to have this done just because And I'm so anxious to show you how beautiful this is. I love it. I know I'm not particularly a baby album maker, but yeah, when I see good papers, girl, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm in. Count me in. I am. I love these colors. They are so nice. So the pockets are done and I already made a few tags already for put these in. And so here we are. Okay, and for the last one that is that we're going to make that together. 
um, I do not cut out the images that I want to glue on here. Perhaps some uh, balloons or um, I have to search which images I like. Because I think this one and this one and perhaps this one too. So um, I have to check that out. I will do that off camera. Um, but first I'm going to make that little booklet together with you. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, first thing what you need to do is uh, check if a photo mat fits in your uh, pocket. That is the first thing you do with, of course, more room all the way around. That's the first thing you do. Okay, let's move this along. And let's see if we have some papers left. I think we have. So let's use this one. Okay, now, first things, I am going to apply this like I am going to apply it and cut this piece off. still all right so now the first thing we do is just line this up and create a little mark and then we just go make a score line so it's really easy just fold this down and now the next thing we are going to do line this up and you can see where this ends of course so you can line this up and make a little mark where your next, where your page has left. Okay, fold it. Okay, so now we can do that one more time. Make a little mark, make a score line. Fold it. And see how far we are. Okay, and then we have a little flap left. And of course, that was a 12 by 12 sheet I used, a leftover piece. Okay, and then this one I do not score. I'm just going to fold this around. And then I'm going to make it loose because we are going to put some um, photo mats in. I'm just going to fold it loose, not straight, yes, not fur, yes, yet. <laughs> so yeah, and now it's just a matter of time that you put your photo mats in the blank spots and I will keep the front and the back. Uh, clean, not clean, open for um, for design paper. So it will look like a nice booklet or it will look like a little envelope, whatever you want to call it. And you need six photo mats that fit in here. Okay, and then one more to this side. Now you want to see where the middle is, where your fold line is. Here we are. Okay, so now we go to the back. So this is the front. So we flip that to the right. And then we can apply these two photo mats on this side. So you can create six photos in this little booklet. Here we are. It's that simple. See? Now it's the only thing to do um, to create some nice design paper. 
all the way around. See, now that is why I um, kept this loose. So um, it's getting thicker and thicker, of course. So we want that this is going to be nice all the way around. So yeah, what do you think? It's so easy. So let's decorate. Uh, but I hear that my hobby is home again. Um, so I have to call it for the night. And um, I see you, I think, after after this long weekend. Alright, so have a nice weekend everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hello, welcome back. Today I <coughs> am going to try to make... Um, to finish up this base page and um, first of all I did the blue one who, again making a big pocket uh, using my flower lace and using my leftover pieces I put on this um, this card right on top and I did a little I make it a little uh, pocket out of it uh, I always like pockets. And on the back are uh, just two big photo mats with a 4x6 photo mat and a 5x7 photo mat. And then these slides in and you can add more of course. So that is what are we going to do today. Um, well, now, not today. I hope we can do more than just this today. <laughs> okay, so let's. I am just using uh, the blue one to make an example for you guys. And now we're going to the pink one okay let's get in okay let's get in oh, this page and um i like this pocket to be as the same height as this middle pocket so i'm just going to line this up no measure is needed right here score my cardstock and make our first flippity flop as we always do with a pocket. Fold it. And make a mark. Stay away at least one millimeter away from the first fold lines. So the pocket is not too big for your page. Okay, cut this down as a half inch and keep your leftovers I can't say that enough keep it save it okay so now I am going to continuing first with this pocket so I'm just going to leave this aside and I want to use my flower lace same as I did with the blue one Oh my gosh, it's really attaching. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to measure how large I am going to need it. So, till here. This can go away. Um, okay, so what I used on the blue one is the paper with the dots. So I'm going to repeat that and um, well I think I'm going to cut this down first at the same height. We can use this, um, this size more so we can cut it down. First I'm going to cut a small piece, a small string. Hey, I totally forgot putting an extra light on. Ooh, come out the darkness. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I do is glue on a little strip. Otherwise, you will see your background paper from your cardstock. And perhaps you don't want that. Well, at least I don't want that. So that is why I'm gluing a piece in of oh, gosh pin pin the opening love this glue but it's so quick dry that <laughs> sometimes the nozzle will but you see how fast that went when you use your your um 
needle. All right, so that is the first step. And then I'm going to add, and you see that um, there is an attachment piece and that's a little lower, it's not in the middle. So I'm just going to use the lower piece on the paper. So the first thing I'm going to add is some of my art glitter glue. And the first one I'm going to attach where it's needed. Now I'm just not, I don't want to go lower than, than my paper. Okay, and now we can, can continuing with adding some glue. I'm just going to glue this down each one. Like that, and then I go back and do the rest. Now I really love this art glitter glue, I can't say it enough. So glad we have this right now in Holland too, but it's hard to get. She is really doing her best to make a storage. Now it's not in the winter time, so order enough to have enough in the winter time. I can't say that enough. And you can order here in Holland at www.msworld.nl. Now um, for the border, I want an extra piece, so I'm just going to add an extra strip of tape. And here I like that taupe color. Ribbon, cut it straight, that's perhaps better. And I'm going to attach it nicely against that paper strip. Okay. There we go. Now to give it a little extra touch, and I'm first going to do that before I go on so it can glue nicely. Um, you can add a little extra on these flowers. And I did that on, um, on my uh, blue one. So I'm just going to add that too on this one. Now these are really fun and easy and I just love these. So easy to use, you can use them as a um, strip or border or you can cut them just loose and use this as uh, crystals on these middle of flowers. Now again, use a glue that's good and dry, fast, well not that fast, but just use a glue so it stays there. Okay, I'm using my pin set, but you also can use a sticky, a sticky picker, I do have these also for using rhinestones, but you can use a picker, a uh, pen set, pin set. <laughs> okay, a pen set, pen set, pin set. Oh my gosh, you almost think that I'm um, dyslexic. That's the word in Dutch. I don't know if that same thing in English works, but. Okay, well, this one is not going to dry that nice. Just going to add a little extra. Pick another one. Oh, 
Okay. So you can push these a little harder, but let these dry for a sec. Let the glue do his job. Alright, so for the next piece, I'm going to add my dots. Um, no, I'm going to cut an extra strip. And that is in the length of 2 cm, which you can add. I think, yeah, this is already the size I am. We don't have to measure this. Um, yeah, just give it an extra touch um, of cutting the back of the strips, the, st the, 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 the stips. Oh my god, the dots. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. I know, sometimes I am just such an idiot with finding the right word. But anyway, that makes it fun, isn't it? Yes. So the bottom I'm going to add this dot paper. <laughs> okay, let's cut it in the right size. <laughs> Smooch the edges, stay focused. I was already not focusing. Yeah, I am now. Oh my gosh. Well, it's really early. I really have um, a little deadline. Oh, I did make this bottle empty. And then when there is a little, I just refill it. And um, I have a little deadline and I know my girl is today again again <laughs> um a school day off and she asked me to go somewhere but hey girl uh, the last few weeks i did spend a lot of time and money <laughs> on stores with you lately so i really have a deadline so oh my gosh i have to say no 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 i have to finish this up this is not that particularly Straight. So I'm just going to peel this off because I don't like that. So I'm just going to cut this off. I think my cardstock is not that straight, but I don't like that. As you don't like me to tell uh, too much about here, but anyway. <laughs> So now this is suede and this isn't, but we can cut this down, of course, to be straight too. She just get home for her car lessons. She's going to get her license pretty much soon. <coughs> oh, there she is. <laughs> All right, and then the pocket is done. Love it, I love it, love it. So let's glue it in. Okay, let's open this up, make some place, and glue it in. I know she's hating me for saying that. Requested her exam? Yeah. Yeah, her first exam. Yeah. Cool. I really hope to God that she is passing that the first time. My son is, but well, son and daughter, they are not the same. She is a bit um, worried and not very secure, so <coughs> fingers crossed for that. People, you all going to light it up. 23 July, 
at 2.30. Light up your lights, I'm begging you. <laughs> okay. Alright, so let's see what we get for the background because I always want to use my leftovers first. Let's see, let's see, let's see what we have. Well, this is what we have at the moment, but I don't want to be too, too much of a um, leftover queen. <laughs> People sometimes call me that. Um, but I like, what I do like, is using a nice strip right here at the top. So that is what I'm going to do. Same on the blue one. Oh, I'm so excited. I really hope that's your boss. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Boop, 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 boop. I'm happy, happy, happy. Then I'll be done with those drivers, lessons. They are so expensive. Ooh. Okay. And that's just before our holiday, one week before we go. Ooh. So that will be amazing. Oh my gosh. I really stop because he hates talking to me about her. <laughs> okay, um, what can we use for the background? I actually don't want to cut. Oh, we do have this piece left. Shall we use this? Well, yeah, why not? We can use this. And we will use this. Use it, use it, use everything you have. Can you imagine how early it is today? Oh my gosh, it's really, really, really uh, Oh, I need to stop saying that too. That really, 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 that Chinese word, really. Really? <laughs> I need to stop that. No, it's just a habit. Just a habit of filling up empty... Mm, empty... Um, when I don't have anything to say. And I'm just brabbling a little. And then I come up with Chinese words. Okay, I'm going to use the same image and I'm going to use again only glue on three sides. Can you imagine that I am? Um, for those who noticed, I'm trying to use as much as I can my R off so you don't say that I'm using the we for the R. I'm a crazy, yes I am. I am crazy, 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 crazy. Well, let's see. I don't want to add an extra tag and I'm going to decorate it. There are so much tags in this um, kit. In this, it's not, oh yeah, it's a kit. Of course it's a kit. Ah, ah, in this paper set, that was the word that I wanted to say. And I love it. Love it. I always don't uh, like uh, papers that are only using plain papers and um, um, with, with no images in it. That that's not my style. I really like images and. Uh, for some reason, if I use papers that are not having uh, images, 
I'm so crazy, that I look images. Uh, I look for images and I try to find them on Pinterest. Well, of course, you have to make sure that they are free to um, print out. Um, but I really like that. I like images. And um, this was a tryout. Oh my God, love it. <laughs> anyway, so that's that. I can stop rambling because it's done. So we can go to the next page. Let's see what we're going to do with that. But I hope you like this one. I hope you liked it. And yeah, see how easy that is? Just doing a little chit chat and then ooh la la, it's done. Yep, 4x6 photo mat in here and a 5x7 photo mat. I'm sorry, I have to clean up my nose. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's that. Nothing more into it and this page is already fat. It's fat. So we are going to do on this side nothing more than a few photo collage. I think nice four ones. That's, that's nice. So yeah, that is what we are going to do. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, stay tuned and see how I do this piece. Okay, okay, okay. We are going to make a nice photo frame on this side. And I'm going to use the back of the dot paper. And I'm just going to do this together with you, so when it's done, I can do the blue one on my own. As much as I like crafting with you together, but I have made two. <laughs> I'm going to make two. And I don't want to uh, boring you with two albums. Making two same pages. That, is, that should be the boring. Even this one is actually so easy. But I know you like seeing me doing everything. So I'm going to do film this. So I'm making a border all the way around. As you know, I like doing that. Oh, I need to cut this in the correct size. I really like this glue. I can't say that enough. It's so quick dry. So it's really easy to use these, especially for the strips. And I do a lot, I use a lot of strips. You know that in, I don't know, I'm kind of a, a bit addicted to it. Can you call that? I think I can call that. I don't know, for some reason I started using this method and I am just, yeah, I'm just loving it. You can use it on so many different ways and it is addicted. I don't know, I can't stop using it. Now I'm going to see, I'm going to use a full piece of white for my photo mats. But I don't like to use a full size. And of course I'm going to cut these in smaller ones. But first I'm going to measure one that has the full size photo one. Okay, so that is this. Yep, it is. That is the full size. So if you want to use this full size, then please be my guest. I don't want that. Um, I want this in four. So I'm going to cut this in the Squat Queen way. You can cut this with your um, machine or you just use your knife or just use your scissor. And now I'm going to use my knife but you can use anything now we're going to fold these again in half 
and cut it down. Last one. Okay, let's see how they fit on here. Okay, so I like to put these in the corner, same as this one, and then they should fit nicely with a little edge, just how I like it. But we check it, we check, we like to check it out. And I think I am good. So, but I'm going to use a clear glue so I can move a little. So don't push it too hard or wait too long. I'm just going to apply this one here. And I don't push too hard. I'm just using a clear glue that needs a little more time so I don't use my arc little glue because if I do use my arc little glue I can't move them after I put these all four in the position I think they are needed I am using this glue that is not that quick dry okay last one and then I'm going to see if it needs a little adjustment move these around normally they need it um, let's see oh actually it's pretty good already but you always can move this if you use a glue that is not particularly yeah I like that and when you are done you can squeeze your glue in your paper but I can't tell you if you use your art little glue it will be set right away so you can't move them and if you don't trust yourself completely like I just did then just use a glue that is not that quick of a dry so we use these big puppets I think we do it's a nice big one and I like it. Yeah, we do. Okay. Now I'm just putting a nice dot in the middle. So we still can add our pictures, our full pictures, but it's a little in the corner. Just as you can see, I still can add our pictures in the back. That is just how I like it. Okay see how easy that is all right so i'm going to make the blue one and then we go further together all right stay tuned okay with this page i'm just going to play i'm just going to play with this piece i don't know i just going to play i just see how it goes and i'm just going to use my scraps and i'm just going to add three sides of glue just to give this an extra tuck spot and I don't want to make it too fat or too um, yeah too um, too thick I don't know but I still like a tuck spot I can't I can't get enough of it so I'm just going to apply the leftover pieces and oh oh this one is not correct oh my gosh Keep focusing. Use what you have. Go to your little leftover pile and use what you have. So if I'm just going to add each time a strip that fits the length, 
and the whiteness do not matter. So again, I'm going to add only glue on three edges. And then I'm just going to apply this white on here, just leaving a little gap in between. And just see how it, how it ends, where it ends. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to use up first my leftover pieces, just how I like it. And you can do so much more with this um, this this page, but I'm going to do that on the back, what I have in mind. And what I have in mind is a belly band. You can use a belly band. I always like adding a belly band too to a project. Oh, I could use these two of the balloons. Oh, totally forgot about that. But let's just use what we have. Let's see, is this still? Yep, this is still the correct size. Okay, so let's continue. We do have three little tuck spots right here. And uh, I think it's enough. And um, so though we go to the top, searching for a piece. These are all too short. So now I go to the other leftover piece. this one. I do not have used this one too much. So let's use it. Okay, let's cut this. Well, let's cut this all the way down. So we can use this piece to the back of this page. Cut it down. And then I think I want to use the up and I don't gonna add a little strip on. No, not a strip, a little stripe from a pencil mark. Ooh. Not do you give people the wrong information. Okay, um, let's add this just fully. I'm not going to make this as a pocket because it's too high, of course. So yeah, first of all, you are going to see that this is, um, you will think that this is only um, covering up some of, oh, this is ready already. This is ready already, okay. Awkward, awkward, very awkward. All right, so let's add this in this corner. Give it a little extra. Okay, and I can use a little image right here. We can, but we also can add a few ribbons to the wand. But we do have a lot of balloons. Well, no. I'm just going to see what I'm going to use. These are too large. So I'm going to see what I'm going to add on these little tuck spots. But now you can add your little photos right here. So I'm not going to put anything in here just yet, but you get the picture that you can put something in here. Shall I add nice flat photo mats? What do you say? Let's use square ones. Square ones that fit. Just small ones. Just how you call these? Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's cut these in um, 
and little ones, 5.7. So I'm going to cut these at the same size I just found. So you have a little photo mat you can add. See, you don't, you don't have to be exactly um, too fancy in your um, tuck spots. You can add something on the back. I still can do that, but I don't want these too thick. And you can make more as you wish, but it's just for showing you that you can add just simple tuck spots with just using uh, a simple a simple white paper to glue your photo on. So uh, imagine that you have. A tiny photo you can glue on the front or back or white something on the back and then tuck these in. Isn't that amazing? It's really simple and it's really easy going so yeah that is how I cover up this page. Oh, <laughs> it's not too difficult it's really easy and it's a perfect way to cover up your page. Shall I do the blue one together with you? Yeah why not that's for me more, um, how do you call that? How do you call not comfortable? Um, um, how do you call that word when it's nice and what you when you carve together with some people? I bet you want to tell me the word. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do the blue one, same, and together with you. Okay, okay. So let's go crazy and see how we can imagine how we can fulfill. Let's see what the scraps we have. This one should fit. And we have this piece and this one. This one can work for a, but I think I'm going to use this one for the strip. Just use it, use it. This one should fit too, I guess. Yep, it is. So yeah, let's use what we have. Okay, so this is what we have, what should fit. Okay, let's start with the first one. I'm going to cut the first one in the correct size. And the rest it will follow. <laughs> the rest I, I always like cutting first. And then the rest I cut the same one as no measuring I'm just going to measure with my first cut okay oh I'll stay focused and be straight all right so now I have three of these one um, I don't want to use this balloon, so let's cut. Yeah, it's really no. Wait just a second. I'm just going to use this one too. Does not need to be perfect, but this one is a little wider, so we only have to make a little mark. this one too. Let's cut a piece off. Does not matter how deep it really is. It just see it isn't, but it is perfect for me. I don't like perfection. Okay, let's just start. I do have two already, so let's see how it ends. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Gluing down just three edges, starting at the bottom, adding a strip just to give it an extra. I don't know, you don't have to exactly use a strip if you don't like that, but I like that. You know, I like that. <laughs> I do. Okay, then I'm going for the balloons. Oh my gosh, this is also nice. 
Oh, you know, I'm not going to use the balloons. I'm going to use this image. I can't tuck this image away. I can't. Sorry, balloons. You lost. You lost from this nice twin. Okay, adding this on top. And again, using a strip. I hope you people had a wonderful weekend, by the way. We had a, quite a lazy one. I don't know, we did not go. Uh, we just did our weekend habits, making grocery shopping and uh, a bit cleaning of the house, something like that. We did not do that much, but um, yeah, it's all I always like. Shall I cut this a little shorter? Hmm. No, I do not. Just to use this. Um, so yeah, it's it's very nice to do sometimes nothing, just sit there and just having fun, talking to each other, um, just having yeah on the phone on the phone, do some games, just weekend stuff. I don't know, I just like that. I bet you all people like that. Okay, and now I'm almost at the end. So you don't have to do exactly the same thing as I did. Of course not. You can... I think I'm going to use the balloon for the top. Why not? Yes, I do. I am going to use you... And then I need... A little and um so yeah i bet you all like weekends i bet some of you needed to work at weekends i'm very sorry that you do <laughs> no that's 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 terrible to say there are people they are needed to work during the weekend and some of you during the week so yeah that's just how life is Seven days of the week, there are people that need to be. Oh my god, what am, I, what am I babbling about? I don't know, I'm just babbling. I need to talk something about. Oh yeah, I really was babbling. Perhaps it was better to put this in here and then this up. But hey, it just goes how it goes, and this is how I ended up. Okay, so. Again, I'm just grabbing a, a leftover piece and I'm just going to see 7.2. I'm going to make a nice square with the 7.2. And then you can tuck this in. 7.2 with a nice tuck spot. And of course, this one can be a little larger. Now well, let's fold this in half. And then just cut this. And then we have two, if you like that. Now well, we can add one here too. Because we have a larger, it's, we can. It's just an option. What you like. What you like or not. Okay, let's start, stop brabbling. Um, let's cut out. Uh, what shall we cut out? Let's see. Mm, let's cut out this piece. I know you saw me that I did all my cutouts already. On the pink ones but not on the blue that's because um, on that point I did not know that I was going to do a kit with this so I ordered the blue one later and I keep loving these papers from Lesero Love they are absolutely stunning. I think I'm going to add 
here I'm going to put this right here give it just a little extra touch on here Ooh, I can no that's too big shame I'm just going to add this in the middle yep oh you don't see it but if you pull it out you will see okay so that's that for this page really it's that simple you see that yeah you did Diane don't put too much in it oh I know let's put a little one a little one here and there and then this is a higher one that's enough okay <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next step, and that's right here. And I promised you a belly band, so I'm going to use, I'm going to make a belly band. Oh, wow, cool. Stay tuned. <laughs> 